The poem The Chimney Sweeper from Songs of Innocence was composed by William Blake. It reveals the dark background of child labor that prevailed in England in the late 18th and 19th century. The poem is narrated from the perspective of a young chimney sweeper who was sold by his father after his mother's death to the chimney sweeping business. His fellow chimney sweeper named Tom Dacker cries when his head is shaved. He tries to console Tom. In the following night, Tom sees a dream in which he is promised a better future in the afterworld. The next day, he feels better and goes to work happily. Blake uses this poem to highlight the dangers of an innocent, naive view, demonstrating how this allows the societal abuse of child labor. The poem is divided into six stanzas having four lines each and the rhyme scheme is AABB. The speaker recounts his story that when he was very young, his mother died and his father sold him to a chimney sweeping business. He was so young that he could scarcely cry, in these lines, the meaning is quite obvious. The repetition of the word weep is not only for poetic effect but to suggest that if he were a little bit mature, he could have wept and pleaded his father not to sell him. However, being unable of expressing his pain, he was sold. From that day, he sweeps the chimneys and sleeps in soot. In the second stanza, the child tells us about a fellow chimney sweeper, named Tom Dacker. He cries when his head is shaved which has curly hair that looks like lamb's back. The use of lamb's back indicates two things. Firstly, he has thick hair because there is nobody to take care of him. Secondly, like the lamb, the child is innocent. This line not only shows the child's innocence and love but also his maturity at an early age. At night Tom has a dream. He sees thousands of sweepers like Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack who are locked up in the black coffins. This line is very deep and symbolic. The dream is the psychological picture drawn by the church in the minds of the working class children. The chimney sweepers are locked in black coffins which suggest images of soot and ash. The suggestion is that the life of a chimney sweeper is a sort of death. This stanza is the continuation of the previous one. An angel appears. He opens the black coffins of those young chimney sweepers with a bright key and sets them all free. The children then go to a green plain or meadow imaginary heaven. They run, laugh, jump and wash in a river and shine in the sun that is are free and enjoy at their full. The idea of the angel and bright key is the tools used by religious people to keep the children working. Now, they are naked and white that is free from the clothes of death and beautiful like the angels. They fly and rise above the clouds and play in the wind like the angels. The angel then tells Tom that if he becomes a good boy, he will have God as his savior and will enjoy so much that he will never desire more joy. This stanza can be analyzed in two ways. Firstly, the positive one the children will get the reward of their hard work in the afterworld. The second perspective is quite negative. The angel here is ironically the religious man who poses like angel and lectures the innocent children about the better future. The phrase a good boy means that he should obey their masters and work harder. It is like controlling their minds so that they may keep working with full dedication and never question the rich or the religious men. The next day Tom wakes up in the dark and goes to work though the morning is cold. He is happy and warm. He believes that if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. This stanza explores the flawed perception of child labor in a corrupt society. This major social issue has been perceived through the eyes of a little chimney sweeper who takes every misery imposed upon him in his stride with the hopes of a better tomorrow. This little boy is unaware of the gross injustice being done to him. They believe that their hard work would surely pay them in the long run. Thanks for watching.